13 of the most stunning libraries around the globe. Number 13, Cerritos Millennium Library in Cerritos, California. This astoundingly beautiful library was designed by architects from the Charles Watson Associates, and the building was completed in 2002. It became a pioneer in many terms, one of which being the first building in the United States to be covered with titanium paneling. It is also now known as an experience library because of the spotlights lighting up fascinating themed areas, arts, and historical pieces. The library also has a children's library complete with a marine aquarium that houses coral and different breeds of shark. Another beautiful feature is the Old World Reading Room that is inspired by 19th century European design and architecture. Number 12. The Strahov Monastery Library in Prague, Czech Republic. Although it has been restored to its former glory since then, communists seized the library in 1950 and among other things changed its name to the Memorial to National Literature. A sad name indeed. Lucky for us, the library and its contents were undisturbed during the change of ownership, and everything is now exactly how it's supposed to be. The Strahov Monastery Library houses the magnificent Theological Hall, which holds thousands of editions of the Holy Bible. The interior work of this library is what makes it a real head-turner. The detailed murals and the intricate molding give this library the look of historic luxury. Number 11. The Bodleian Library in Oxford, United Kingdom. The Bodleian Library is the oldest example of a circular library in the entire United Kingdom. The building is the main research library of the University of Oxford and one of the oldest in Europe. Much of the library's archives were digitized and put online for public access in 2015, which must have been quite a feat, since they house over 12 million items in the library. The term Bodleian Library should be made plural, due to the fact that six different buildings actually fall under this title. The Bodleian Library consists of these six buildings, the Duke Humphreys Library, the School's Quadrangle, the Clarendon Building, the pictured Radcliffe Camera, the Weston Library, and the Bodleian Law Library. Number 10. The National Library of Sejong City in Sejong City, South Korea. The library is a major resource facility for the relocated central government complex. It gives readers an amazing view overlooking the lake and has four above ground and two below ground stories with ample room for visitors. The National Library of Sejong City is an emotional library, which means both analogs and digital formats come together for the convenience of the listener. The most noticeable feature of this landmark is its exterior shape. It resembles a page of a book mid-turn, which helps the building stand out with its unique outline. Number 9. Admont Abbey Library in Admont, Austria The Admont Abbey Library is the largest library of its kind in the entire world. Its all-embracing nature allows visitors to see stunning pieces of art represented from various artist genres such as frescoes, sculptures, architectures, printed works, and manuscripts. A major selection of the monastery's book collection is housed within the library's walls. About 70,000 of the 200,000 volumes are located here. Amongst all of the fascinating artwork is the work of Joseph Stammel and his sculpture's Four Last Things. The Four Last Things is a depiction showing the last four stages of the soul in life and the afterlife. Joseph finished creation in 1760, and the four statues showing death, judgment, heaven, and hell can be seen on display in the Admont Abbey Library today. Number 8. The Mafra National Palace Library in Mafra, Portugal. This palace, as well as many other landmarks around the city, may have not been here today if not for Queen Mariana and the birth of her children. At the time, the palace served as a Franciscan monastery, and King John V was the ruler. In 1711, the king made a vow to his wife that if she bore him children, he would build her the library she had been asking for. Sure enough, his wife soon became pregnant, and the palace was commissioned in 1717 and was completed by 1755. The library is now open to researchers, historians, and scholars, and it is recommended that you make an appointment before you stop by. Number 7. The Seattle Central Library in Seattle, Washington The shape and style of this library are some of the things that make it stand out in the Pacific City. The architects that created this building, Rem Kulhas, and a local firm named LMN Architects, sought to create the illusion of transparency all over the outside of the library. After it opened in 2004, the Seattle Central Library won praises from the New Yorker and from the American Institute of Architects in 2007. Once opened, the library houses an estimated 1.5 million materials as well as more than 400 computers that are available for public use. 
Number 6. The Trinity College Library in Dublin, Ireland The library is quite well known for holding a truly measured relic, the Book of Kells. For those of you who aren't aware, the Book of Kells is an illuminated gospel manuscript that dates back to the 9th century and contains the four gospel of the New Testament. The building was completed around 1733 by an Irish architect named Thomas Burke. The library's long room contains 200,000 of the oldest books in the library's collection, and it also boasts beautiful interior design with dark wooden features and a barrel-like ceiling. To top it off, the sections of the library are lined with busts of writers and philosophers which are frequently visited by guests. Number 5. The Vancouver Public Library in Vancouver, Canada the seven-story luxurious library brings a little piece of Rome over the Canadian border with the architectural design of this building. The building also holds a secret rooftop garden that isn't accessible to the public. It is the third largest library in all of Canada and it is located now in what is called the Library Square. The square not only houses the library, but the federal office tower and other services, and retail shops are there as well. The Library Square project was the largest ever taken on by the city of Vancouver. The project first started in 1993 and was completed in 1995. The library has an average 6.9 million visitors annually and rents out over 9.5 million items each year. Number 4. The National Library of Brazil the National Library of Brazil is ranked as the seventh in size out of all of the other libraries around the world. The building is home to over 9 million items such as media, written and audio works, and newspaper. The librarians at this establishment certainly have their hands full. The library also houses a 19th century collection of thousands of significant photographs that are so remarkable. Many are listed in the Registry of the Memory of the World program. While the library was originally built back in 1810, it has since been remodeled into the palace you see today. Number 3. The National Library of Belarus This stunning library was founded in September of 1922 and is the National Library of the Republic of Belarus. It houses the third largest collection of books written in Russian, coming in after the Russian State Library in Moscow and the Russian National Library in St. Petersburg. The building you see now was designed by architects Mihail and Viktor and wasn't completed until June of 2006. The building has 22 floors, features a 500-seat conference hall, and can sit about 2,000 readers at any time. In addition to being the main source of information and culture in the city, the building is used as the city attraction as well. The library is situated in the middle of a park and a riverbank, making it the go-to place for concerts and public shows. Over 2,200 people visit the library each day, and the library is responsible for delivering about 12,000 various media and works every day. Number 2. The Bibliotheca Alexandrina in Alexandria, Egypt While the famed Library of Alexandria may have been burned to the ground hundreds of years ago, the Bibliotheca Alexandrina which was completed in 2002 is on its way to being the new crown of the Nile. The huge building hosts 11 levels of design that gives ample room for the 8 million books housed there. In addition to all of those books, the library also has 4 museums, 4 art galleries, and even a planetarium. The grey exterior walls are etched with 120 different languages in a tribute to the complex richness of the human language. Number 1. The Central Library in Mexico City The Central Library in Mexico City, Mexico, is a splendor you must put on your bucket list. The library is located on the campus of the National Autonomous University of Mexico. They call it their crowning jewel, and it's not hard to see why. The building was constructed and completed in 1952 and holds approximately 400,000 books. The magic in this building isn't in the books themselves, but rather the murals decorating the outside. Painter Juan O'Gorman covered the 10-story building with an intricate design depicting the country's history. What's even more impressive than the artwork is how it's made. O'Gorman used thousands and thousands of beautifully colored rocks he found during his travels throughout Mexico. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this every single week. Bye!